My name is Mass Nissen. I'm a documentary photographer working on social and contemporary issues. My interest in photography started when I was 17, 18 years old and I lived in Venezuela. That's when I picked up photography. That's, that's when I opened the door to this amazing world of, of documentary photography. And since then, that's what I've been doing. And now I'm 41. So it's been about a bit more than 20 years since I started with photography many years ago, I've been working on social and contemporary issues such as homophobia in Russia, the um, civil war in Colombia, the fight for peace in Colombia. Recently, I've been working on the COVID crisis, not only in Denmark where I live, but also in Brazil, which has been one of the most affected countries. So it's been a wide range of, of, of stories, uh, conflicts like the war in Libya, many, many other issues. The, the connection between all those stories to me is a, a sincere interest in, in humanity and other people and, and the lives and struggles they're, they're, they're going through. My biggest accomplishments or achievements is hard to say. You know, one can look at awards, one can look at whatever, but in the end, it's the difference I made to people. When I'm speaking to people and I see someone in the crowd with tears in their eyes because of a story I did, because they care about those people in the images. Maybe they see my work on homophobia and it gave them courage to accept their own sexual identity. That is to me real change. When my work make decision makers change the course, that to me is an achievement. I'm here as a documentary photographer to try to push things in a better direction, in a better way for a better world. And whenever I can take just the tiniest step, that to me is a huge achievement. Then forget about the awards. That's just amazing, but it's also just a bit noise. If I should mention three of my most important works, it would probably be my book about the Amazonas, biggest rainforest in the world, where I spent seven years working on a book. It will be the work I did in Colombia, a book called We Are Indestructible, about the fight and for peace and, and the history and culture of violence in that amazingly beautiful country. And then it would be the work I did on homophobia in Russia, which made a huge impact on a lot of people. So those three works would probably be my, the ones that I'm most proud of, um, that, that I felt, where I felt I made the biggest difference. I love photography. I love all kinds of photography. I love the most blurry black and white. I like the most conceptual large format in color. So I have a lot of inspiration. If I should mention a few, it would be the Swedish photographer Anders Petersson, who has, especially his earlier work, who has this extreme intimacy. Sometimes when I look at my work and something is missing and I don't know what, I look at his work. And that intimacy, that empathy he has in his work is just so inspiring. I love Luc de la Haye's work, Winterreise. I think, find that amazing. I love the work from Antoine Dacata. I love the work from Paolo Pellegrin. I think those are some of the inspirations I have. About a year ago, I started working on climate change, the climate crisis. Why? Because I think it's the biggest challenge that we're facing as humanity today. But then the COVID crisis came and it was just affecting all parts of my life. I couldn't travel, it affected my, my daily life, the life of my children, the life of my mother, everywhere, as we all know. So that's what I've been focusing on the last year, from the Prime Minister's office in here in Denmark, to the hospitals, the intensive care. I traveled to Brazil to cover the crisis in one of the countries that was most hardly affected by the crisis, by the pandemic. Hopefully soon, it's gonna be less affecting our lives. And I will go back to, to photographing the climate crisis because I really think that's where I'm needed the most.